Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For the last few days, I've heard much conversation on this floor that House Bill 934 is a solution in need of a problem, an unnecessary burden, and an effort to suppress turnout among the poor, elderly, minorities, and disabled. Some would have you believe that this Commonwealth should be reactionary and not proactive in modernizing our election process, in deterring and detecting fraud, and safeguarding voter confidence. In recent studies, 62% of Americans felt voter fraud was a very common or somewhat common. Nearly 82% of Americans support photo ID laws. Why? Because confidence in the integrity of our system is important. A photo identification is not an unnecessary burden. It's been stated clearly and true that you cannot board an airplane, purchase many over-the-counter drugs, or exercise your constitutional right to bear arms without a photo ID. We've heard of the very real cases of fraud. Regardless, isn't it all really too late when an election is fraudulently won or lost when we simply have, when we have a simple modernization available to us? Perhaps most appalling to me has been the suggestion that this bill and those of us support it are somehow party to a covert attempt to suppress turnout among the poor, elderly, minority, and veterans. Mr. Speaker, nine years ago this summer, I was a captain serving with the 4th Infantry Division in central Iraq. The young men I served with fought not just for the rights, our rights as citizens of this country, but to extend the right to vote to Iraqis who did not previously have the privilege to choose their leaders. In June of 2003, I was in Tuz, Iraq. Tuz was a small Kurdish village on the outskirts of Kirkuk. The Kurds were a people brutally terrorized by Saddam Hussein's regime. The young men in my infantry company engaged in a war far from the borders of their own country, fought to ensure those people were able to vote in a local town council election for the very first time in the summer of 2003. Those young men I served with fought for the right to vote, but for the integrity of that young system as well. Remember the purple stained finger. Some have used the term fought and shed blood rather casually. I do not. I can still hear the call of the wounded. I can close my eyes and still see the wounded soldiers evacuated from the field of battle. The shedding of blood is not a casual term for me. It's very, very real. The idea that my support of this bill would somehow constitute voter suppression is personally offensive, and it is wrong. I utterly reject the notion that insisting on one person, one vote, insisting on integrity, and insisting on voter confidence is somehow misguided and will suppress turnout. Turnout is suppressed when political leaders engage in heated, heated negative rhetoric that has no relation to fact. I encourage a vote to concur on House Bill 934.